Good morning everyone. Right, come back to do a bit more pike fishing today. Come to the same lake I came the other day and caught that six pounder, which was sort of like over that way. So what I've done, I've come down this end. And there's quite a nice bay here. Plenty of water, plenty of features. So yeah, I'm the only angler here. So all the, all the carp boys have uh, had enough. <laughs> now the weather's getting colder, yeah. Right, okay, so I've got the normal sort of setup two 15 gram floats that one there i've put a bit shallower because it's got like a like a sail on it or fin so i'm just gonna a little bit of wind so hopefully it might just drift around a little bit cover a bit of water maybe pick a pike up that way that one there same size float without fin on it that's going to be static on the bottom and the baits i'm going to be using today are some little joey mackerel yeah i've got another packet of those as well and just some smelt. Last time I come, I caught all the pike who had the water runs on the um, Joey mackerel. So let's try those first. So I've got another packet as well. So yeah, it should be a good day hopefully. Yeah, it's quite quite a nice day actually. A little bit sun, a little bit cloud. It's not too bad. So it's not too cold either. So yeah, it looks quite nice out there. I think if I can get that float sort of cast to the right get it drift slowly in the wind just cover a bit of water out there as well so yeah should be good all right okay then hopefully we'll get a pike or two out i ain't cast it out yet i've just literally set up all my gear normal shimano reels there bait runners yeah and that's the Rigs, same on the other one as well. Obviously, I've just talked about the floats. Right, okay then. Better get these out in the water and uh, see if we get a pike or two. Right guys, that's the boat I'm using. Nice size little Joey Mac with it. Right, okay, let's get it out there and see if we can get a pike. Right, that's the first one out. See how we get on. Well, we've got a bite on this right hand rod now. Yeah, there's one on that right hand rod there at the minute. Good way, eh? That right enough, but it's a bit. Well, that was a good run as well. <laughs> oh dear, stay at that mackerel. <laughs> Chopped it right enough, look. Damn. Oh well. Right, get it back out there again. Damn it. Well, that was a bit annoying. Yeah, lovely bite there, the old float bobbing about. Went down, just the line was going, just lifted up into it and no contact at all. 
as you saw on that other clip, when it come back, completely chopped in half. Yeah, one hook was this side, and obviously the other one up there, but still, still didn't make any contact with it. Oh, it's a bit annoying, really, but there you go. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I've casted it back out there again with a fresh mackerel on there. Uh, I've got the smelt out there as well. So, yeah. Oh, well. There you go. Yeah, a bit annoying. Uh, there we go. Never mind. We're all back out there again anyway, so hopefully we might get another one. Another run. Things, how long do you leave it, you know? As long as you leave them, the deeper they're going to be in the fish. So, yeah. But while that didn't hook up, I don't know, but there you go. That's the way it goes, isn't it? So, can't get them all, I suppose. Right, anyway, they're all back out again now, so... Watch this space. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the closer float just a minute ago, I just gave it a bit of a twitch. And I'm sure there was a... It's shown some interest on it. It's starting to move around a little bit different. But it hasn't developed into anything. So, well done. I brought it back in again. I couldn't see any teeth marks or anything on like that on it. So, I don't know. Yeah. I just sort of gave it a bit of a twitch. Left it. And next thing, it, it just reacted differently. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's a take or if it's just maybe the bait settling down maybe or something like that. But it did look a bit odd. So, that's any sort of interest I've had so far. That's if it was a pike or not, I don't know. Anyway, didn't develop into anything. So I've got one fair way out, and the other one I've sort of bought in, because about 10 yards out, it sort of drops down into on a bit of a shelf. So I've got it just the other side of that at the moment, because obviously it's a sort of patrol area, isn't it, where they're patrolling up and down. And the other one I've got, another 10 yards further out so yeah no, it's a nice day sun's come out a bit now but it's a little bit of breeze still so ain't too bad quite pleasant yeah I'm the only angler here well, it's a Sunday but it's very popular with carp anglers in the summer obviously the you've got the die hard carp anglers aren't they fish all the year round but most of them are summer fishermen aren't they so yeah got the whole lake to myself so it can't be bad Hopefully we'll uh, pick up a pike, maybe. Well, that's fishing, isn't it? Any kind of fishing, really. You know, especially for bigger fish, anyway. So, you got to be in it to win it, as they say. You're not going to catch nothing at home, are you? So, you got to be out there doing it. Yeah, at the moment, I've still got the um, Joey Mackerel on both of them. I'm just starting to four out some, some smelts. So, I'll probably put one of those on one one on the rigs and the other one I just keep with Joe Mackerel because the other day when I come here with Joe Mackerel that was what I had all those runs on so but that was a different day wasn't it so it could be totally different today yeah so I'll give it another 20 minutes on these baits and I'll swap one of them over for the uh, for the smelt see if that makes any difference so it's pretty well it's time now 25 to 12 I mean last time I come here I felt I didn't start getting any interest till about 3 o'clock or something like that so I should stay till right up till dark. Because obviously it gets dark earlier now, so but we'll see. They're out there, that's all you can do. Right, okay. Fish on guys. Got a nice one too.
Wow, at last. Oh yeah, that's a beaut. <laughs> Lovely. Come on, have a look though, I'll just show you. I literally just put a fresh bit of mackerel on out. It's only been out there 10 minutes. Oh, that's a good fight that was. <laughs> Lovely. Right, we'll let it rest for a few minutes, then I'll get all the. Uh, well, I've already got my gear sorted out over there, my unhooking mat and everything else, so we just wet that. Well, I have to weigh that one, I think. Right, lovely. Right, okay, let's get it sorted out and uh, I'll give you a close up. Right, there we go, guys. My lovely pike. 13 pound on the dot, that is fantastic yeah I literally just put that fresh mackerel out there and there we go beautiful that's a good old fight as well lovely right get a quick picture of that and uh, we get it back excellent well how about that then what a cracking pike that was brilliant fight yeah literally just, that bait had literally been out there Five ten minutes, put a fresh bit of mackerel on. I sort of figured it was because last time I caught them about three o'clock. That one I caught about quarter to three. So I freshened both baits up with fresh mackerel. So I thought it would be the prime time now. This is going to be the time to get them. And uh, literally, it was out there five to ten minutes. And the old float went. And it just, yeah, excellent. Well pleased with that. That was a good fight as well. As you can see on the video, lovely fish. Lovely. Yeah, well pleased with that. My, my personal pike is 13 pound two and I caught that one at 13 pounds so <laughs> can't be bad so oh dear dear there, there you go if it had been 13 free <laughs> then it'd been my PB but it, obviously it wasn't so but now nah, well pleased with that excellent stuff yeah good old fight that was yeah well pleased obviously I had that one earlier on we had to run we didn't connect with it so that's a bit disappointing but there we go that one's made up for it now so I'm well happy yeah great stuff right the time now is 20 past three put another fresh mackerel on the one i just caught the pike on so obviously the bait had gone there wasn't even there so i've casted that out roughly in the same area again what you can't see it from here but it's like a weed bed there and there's like a little bit of a bay in the weed bed if you know what i mean so i've sort of got it in amongst that which is uh seems to be a good little spot uh, i've got the other one straight out in front of me nothing's happened on that i've got mackerel on there as well i got rid of the smelt I'm not really confident with that here. All the fish I've caught here, or had bites, have always been on the on the mackerel. So I've swapped that over to mackerel. Yeah, great. So as I say, it's about 20 past three now, whatever I said it was. So you've got another 
probably about another hour and a bit before it gets dark so I'm gonna stick it right out to the end and uh, hopefully might get another one or two <laughs> you never know so right okay then right hopefully I'll come back with a, another one see you in a bit Wow, what a lovely evening now. Wow, what a lovely evening now. Look at that, not a breath of wind anywhere. It's totally calm. Yep, lovely end to the day. Not a breath of wind anywhere. Earlier on it was a little bit breezy. Yeah, but now, totally still. Absolutely lovely out there now. Yeah, that's right, that pike was just there's like a little bay of weed just here. That's why that 13 pounder and the one I lost as well. And I've got the other one just out here as well. Just sort of off the edge of a bit, another little weed bed just there. Yeah, I've had a great day today. Obviously, it would have been nice to get that other one, but I think the 13 pounder made up for it, so I'm well pleased with that. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well pleased. There we go. Be nice to uh, get a 20 pounder this year, hopefully. We've got a couple of other waters as well, which have uh, got pike in, so I might try them later on in the year. And we've got a part of the River Stour as well. There's some lovely pike in there. I mean, my friend of mine fished it years and years ago. We got some lovely pike out of there, real beauties. And I was fishing there. I actually had a pike on, we're using plugs. And um, I had a pike on about four or five pound, just pulling it in along the bank. Another one come up and grabbed it, took it right up to its gills, and it was just laying in the current. That thing was way over 20 pound, absolute monster. We couldn't believe it when we looked down, <laughs> it was just hanging in the water. Just All you could see was the, um, the other pike's head just sticking out of its mouth. The rest of it was down in its, in its throat, I suppose. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, just hanging there. For, even for a few minutes, it just wouldn't move. Then all of a sudden it just let go, drifted back into the into the flow of the river. Oh, something jumped over there, chasing some uh, fry about, probably a pike or something. And uh, yeah, it just slipped back and just glided back under the weed and just disappeared. That was it, never to be seen again. <laughs> so we tried quite a few times going back down there again, see if we could find it, but nah, no luck. But there we go, we had some lovely fishing down there, but so we've got still got part of it down there so I think later on it's a little trip takes an hour or maybe nearly two hours to get there from where I live but so that'll probably be a trip down there sometime just have a walk along the river and uh, do a bit of plugging which uh, should be good right okay yeah it's all getting there I'm um, packing up time now so probably gonna call it a day in a minute all right right I'll come back in a bit anyway guys before I go. Right, there we go guys. It's getting on a little bit now, I think another 15 minutes and it's gonna be pretty dark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna call it, call it a wrap, as they say. No, it's brilliant, I had that lovely 13 pounder, so I'm well pleased with that. That was a good fight as well. Yeah, it's a good old scrap that was. So yeah, I really enjoyed it, it's been a good day. So I caught them on the um, Joey mackerel again, which seems to be the bait down here as well. So, so I tried to smell it here last time and today as well, no runs on that at all whatsoever. So I don't know, I'm not saying you won't catch them here, but obviously it's a confidence thing, isn't it? You know, they've caught those others on the mackerel, so you know you're gonna catch them on that, so you're gonna use them, so, which is good. So yeah, nice one. I'm hoping this, later on this week, probably Saturday, I'm going to go and fish a little pond that um, belongs to a private syndicate. And they've got some nice perch in there. So I think we're up three pound and just over. So I'm hoping to get down there next time and uh, have a go at those. So that'd be nice to get a nice decent perch. It's my biggest perch is two pound seven. So to get one over three pound would be nice. A bit bigger. And obviously we've got one lake that we fish in our club that had the British record perch in there quite a few years ago now it's over four pounds something caught by Mrs Owen I think it was yeah she was actually winding in a, a bit of bread and the, the perch came up and grabbed it unbelievable wasn't it to catch a record fish like that by accident there you go 
so probably have a go at that during the winter yeah so okay right then if you haven't hit the old subscribe button you know hit the old subscribe button because i have quite a few videos coming up you know i try and do one a week really so there's always gonna be plenty to watch yeah so a few more likes hit the old like button as well that'd be great right okay then right i'm gonna uh, slowly start packing my gear away and uh, call it a day so it's been a really good um good session okay then guys i'll see you on the next one take care bye